Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about masking hidden parts of the mesh. And you need version 185. You have to wait for it or test it in the web demo. So I'll show you. So here, this mesh here, here the arm is inside the other mesh. So when I use the additive view, you see here. Um, the mesh is intersecting with the other mesh and I want to uh, I want the arm as <laughs> a complete arm um, and how to mask this part so it's not so easy so okay so I show you a workflow that works so for this in version 185 you find here a height tool and we use now the lasso function and in the filter settings here, um, so front vertex only is off, this is okay. So, so we use the lasso and nearby the body, I lasso, the, oops, I inverted. Um, so I use the hide function to hide the outer mesh of the arm. So I can see now through the mesh and so, um, sorry I try something, um, I have to change here the face group view. Uh, so you see here now the inside um, through the arm on the body mesh and so you see here when you look at this here, this mesh here so this is now a problem zone and here in the material you can change here the two-sided option turn it off and now when you turn it off the other mesh disappears so on sorry on well I sorry this is the <laughs> this is the checkbox I have to use on off so the mesh you don't see um, nothing happens with it so now it's possible to use the mask and here in the filter settings i selected the front facing vertex only option and maybe you can play a little bit with keep sharp edges and uh, this uh, helps a little bit so and unmask is active so now I mask here only one half of the mesh, not the other side. So here like this. So, and now I change the view in this direction. So, like this. So and I mask now the other part. So I did it this way because when I mask here I mask the other me mesh. So here you see it when I brush here over I pick the other mesh. So I have to change the view. So here I picked um, a little part with a mask and I have to unmask it. So I think we got everything. And now I change the tool to the height tool and I clear the hide it thing and here uh, sorry I, I brush a little bit more here like this and now I use for the hide tool the mask option and now the arm is complete yeah 
So here we got a, a small part. Um, here on the left side menu is a show option. And here we can um, use now the dot mode and make parts visible. So here's a here's a, yeah, this is a small problem zone here. Where it's difficult to pick here. So we have to refine it later, I think. There's something with the mask. I think now, yeah. Yeah, that's not the big thing here. So now we got everything here separate. And now it's possible to use the uh, face group. We can use the lasso function. We can create or use the other patch. And we lasso the arm. So here we picked a little bit from the other mesh. So I changed to dot mode. And here's the auto picking option. And here a little bit of bigger brush, brush radius. So like this here. So and high tool we clear. So let's see. I think it's complete. Okay. And now it's possible to use the mask face group and tap on the face group and invert the mesh so maybe blur it a little bit and use the gizmo i use the pivot option to place the, the pivot here on the arm pivot off and now it's possible to move the arm. Yeah, the rest um, is uh, then sculpting here when we clear the mask. So now you can use the move tool and yeah, adjust your mesh or smoothing. Yeah, for smoothing we have to turn off the face group. Yes, also the face group active, so I have to change the filter. So, So now we have a nice arm in a new position. Here everything for the smoothing. Sorry, I don't get it at the moment. Relaxing. Okay, that's the other thing to test. So have fun with sculpting. Ciao.